Clearly, I had a decision to make. If I chipped in and helped out the cops, maybe I'd get a reward and be famous. On the other hand, if I sided with the eco-zealots, I heard those granola chicks are animals in the sack. I knew I needed to make a story-altering choice, and fast. Then SWAT joined the party and things really got interesting. Then some psycho in a helicopter showed up late to the party. You have a right to eat my 50 caliber! You have the right to explode! The ecotologists were so grateful they gave me a badger saw for my trouble. Trust me, you're glad your TV doesn't transmit smell. Unfortunately, no hot granola babe rocked my world. I regretted my decision almost immediately. I arrived at the ecotologist compound and met their leader, Al. Hey pal, nice to see you. Ready to pick up some apples? It doesn't pay for shit, but it builds character, haha. <laughs> he proceeded to sell me on a swanky, high-level position in their organic produce operation. Good thing there were no survivors from Cash Mart to identify me. Those guys would have been pretty pissed at me for shanking all their buddies in the previous mission.
My new career in eco-friendly produce acquisition was cut short by the untimely appearance of Al-Qaeda. This is it, my brothers. We stand upon the cusp of glorious destiny. In the name of Allah, we will wrest the wonderful Badger Saw technology from the hands of our tree-hugging infidels. Go now, destroy these Zionist vegans with fire and angry, vengeful stuff, and bask in the lamentations of their kittens. Jihad! And let me know how it goes. I'll be back at the soup kitchen. Today is minestrone day, and you know how the customers get if I open late. See ya! The ecotologist put up a pretty good fight for a bunch of spindly, semi-gay tree worshippers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm lying. They were getting pulled. It was clear they were going to need professional help. Yeah, man, my killer bees are badass, and they hate terrorists. Watch this. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. They hate everybody, so be careful to stay out of their way. Al was really proud of his Africanized bee hybrids and showed me how to lob hives full of them at the bad guys. Then he handed me an armful of the things and buggered off to cower in his panic room. I knew it was up to me to rescue the smelly hippie terrorists from the smelly regular terrorists.
Apparently they were a little sensitive about the friendly fire and asked me to leave the compound. Obviously, I didn't get paid. Al was so happy that he gave me some beehives for the road. The tree-hugging bastard also forgot to pay me, probably due to all the green health herb they grow down there. Kids, stay in school.
So I was no closer to securing that tank of gas. While I pondered my career possibilities, I managed to locate champ. Unfortunately, the man was keeping him down with a bogus assault rap. He was clearly innocent, but the corrupt legal system sentenced us both to dog training school. Fortunately, there wasn't time for the session to get boring, as a contingent of Mexi sushi guys burst in. They seemed to be angry with the owner for keeping all the prime cuts for himself. Whatever that meant, I didn't want to know. Shit! We gotta speed up the program! Here, take this laser pen! Use it to direct champ!
so I'm just gonna bail. Coming through. Hey, watch it. Shit, champ, you asshole. Champ managed to get unfairly incarcerated again. This time it was bad. They said he'd be euthanized unless I bailed him out. More money I didn't have. Then Al appeared out of nowhere like some kind of gay Dracula. He'd seen everything and wanted to help. He didn't seem to recognize me from the earlier festivities. It probably had something to do with all the green health herb they were growing down at the compound. He said he had a stake in the local Thegway dealership and could get me a temp job. 